Welcome to Wild World News. What is happening, Magnus Sykes? Back with some Wild World News. And uh, it says here that this teacher in Atlanta is being criticized for her outfits. Uh, and she also teaches fourth graders. So um, I already saw the thumbnail and bruh, if <laughs> I'm gonna check you, I'm gonna check the story out and give my full uh, critique and opinion on the situation. But if it, I was in fourth grade and I had a teacher that was dressing like this, that had a body like that, all right, let's let's do it, man. <laughs> New at 6 o'clock, a fourth grade teacher in Atlanta is getting a lot of attention, but it's not for her curriculum. It's for what she was wearing in the classroom. NBC journalist Tanya Mendez has more mm -hmm. on the new debate about she teacher dress code. This teacher's been a trending topic on Twitter for days now. Are her curves too much for the classroom, or is this a classic case of body shaming? Back to school and one teacher bringing sexy back. A fourth grade teacher creating a social media frenzy after these pictures popped up of her classroom attire. So it's this dress in particular that's causing all the controversy. Around Charlotte, women split. I think it is a little inappropriate. I think that she looks like she's going to the club. I think she looks great. <laughs> I only wish I looked that way. Oh, I'm sure she's embarrassed, humiliated, hard enough as a woman to feel great about yourself. Teacher Bay, as she's now known, sparking a debate over what's appropriate to wear to work and what's not. Sorry about that, my alarm clock was going off. We shouldn't have to worry about what other people think. The reality is that she has a professional career and there are repercussions to her actions. So we looked at the possible repercussions, repercussions for teachers around action. here. And in most districts, CMS, Union, and others, the policies are vague and use language like dress in a professional manner. Right. Even in Fort Mill, where an elementary school student was sent home for wearing a crisscross tank top. So what's wow. professional and what's not? Subjective. But parents here say we should focus less on the teacher's body type and more on the type of teacher. But I'm not a supporter of like body shaming for women. I think we should probably be doing stories about uh, paying our teachers more and about supporting the education of our kids. In Charlotte, Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte. Wow. Charlotte, North Carolina. Woo! So anyway, um, every single male child is in love with that teacher. Guaranteed. Every single one. Matter of fact, not in the class in the whole school. Know why I know? Because I just fell in love a little bit. Um, she looked like when, yeah, she, she, yeah, she got them. I'm, I'm gonna look her up some more, see if I can find some more pictures, and, so I can give a proper critique, critique on her outfits. But I, um, I mean, I saw what she was wearing on a serious note. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I think it, to me, it's a little. The, the one dress, the, like in the red dress, it was, to me, it was a little bit too sexy for for school. I, I really do think that. You know, I, I mean, um, the, the dress she was wearing, as a matter of fact, was similar to this dress. This one chick wore to a party with me. And when she showed up in that dress, everybody was like, yo, son. Even I was like, yo, because I ain't never seen her wear a dress like that before. She told me she, she dresses like that on a daily basis to her job. But her job is not teaching. Okay. So she's in sales. So it's, you know. But uh, that that will definitely distract young men. And yes, if it was a teacher that was less curvy, you wouldn't even say anything. That's the truth. I ain't going to lie. It's probably a double standard. But I'm not body shaming. I'm just saying... The, the, I mean, dress uh, you get, dress according to your body type. Maybe that's better. Maybe, maybe you want to do that, man. You know, if 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 certain attires, if certain dress brings too much attention, and I, I get it. 
you know, you want to say you want to stay on an even playing field, but life's not even playing field. You know, life's not fair. And just like just women with, you know, big breasts, they say if they wear anything with a little cleavage, all of a sudden they look like a hoe. You know, a girl is flat chested. They don't. And it's pretty much for the most part true in certain instances. Not all the time. I mean, I've seen girls now wear, you know, I mean, they're wearing low cut tops that a small breasted and sometimes it still seems trashy but low cut tops or slightly low or medium low whatever doesn't always look like that I'm not saying that okay um, all in all I'm just saying all the fuck all all the male teachers is checking her out okay okay not just the male students uh, you know, at a very young age, young boys start to recognize what is sexually attractive. Trust me. I remember I used to be a little boy, okay? And if I recollect, I remember watching just certain TV shows when I was younger and seeing certain girls and kind of not understanding why I felt the way I did. You know, but as I got older, I understood. I was just like, man, all the way back then, I knew. But anyway, post comments down below. Let me know what you think. Do you think that her attire is appropriate or not? If I was her man, if I was her man, I just, that she was on her way out the door, I'd be like, babe, that's a little too sexy for school because you turn me on right now, okay? We think you're doing it in little boys. I ain't, you turn me, matter of fact, come here. You know what I'm saying? She, <laughs> Before she leaves, she gonna, you know, get something. You know what I mean? So, post comments down below. Let me know what you all think. If you enjoy my video, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. If you did not, you can kiss my black area. One million subscribers. Woo! You may now subscribe.